In this question, we have a relative frequency distribution. Why it is relative frequency distribution? Because here on the vertical axis, you have everything in percent or decimal. 0.15 is 15%. 0 0.25 is 25%. 0 0.35 is 35%. And so on. So it seems like this is just 5%. So 0.05 or 5% for this guy. Question says, what is the midpoint of the class with the greatest relative frequency? When you're talking about greatest relative frequency, you're basically talking about the largest bar. So as you can see, the midpoint of the largest bar is 100. So the midpoint or the middle point is 110. Now, what if the question says, what is the midpoint of the class with least relative frequency? So we're looking for the smallest bar, least represented the smallest bar. So as you can see, the midpoint is 150. So its midpoint is 150. Now, what if I ask you to find the class width? The class width is the difference between two consecutive midpoints is the distance between two consecutive midpoints. Well, take a look at the distance between these. 100, 110, 10 units. 110 to 120, 10 units. It's a diff distance between them. Or you can say that 110 minus 100 is the same as 120 minus 110, which is the same as 130 minus 120, and all of these are equal to 10. So the midpoint, the difference between two consecutive midpoints has the distance, which is class width, equals to 10. 